morning, folks. This is Deb Delapiana, and this is your short take. Uh, we're probably going to go into this a little bit more in detail come uh, sometime down the road here. Uh, but I'd like to speak to you just really quickly today so you can understand the ramifications of what happened in Italy with the most fascist government now in power uh, since World War II. So several months ago, we did a thing on Steve Bannon. Uh, and at that time, we were talking about the movie The Brink, which is a documentary that, you know, Steve Bannon, because he is also a narcissist, like his, you know, mentor, Donald Trump, uh, invited these journalists on a, on a journey with him. And frankly, the journey was to talk about a worldwide fascist movement. That was, you know, his brainchild. Okay, whatever's going on here is part of the bigger picture, folks, because in fact, Georgia Maloney, who has now been elected Italy's prime minister, agreed to join Steve Bannon's block at that time. She was part of the program. Um, and, you know, much like... Uh, the right wing here, when Donald Trump took over, he said that, you know, anything that had been decided by the Supreme Court was hands off, nothing was going to happen with it. Well, that turned out not to be true. Uh, in fact, Donald Trump promised to overturn Roe v. Wade to install judges that would do that. He actually did that. Uh, and then we heard the bullshit from Lindsey Graham about how same sex marriage wouldn't be touched. But now we're hearing from Lindsey Graham that he thinks same sex marriage should go back to the states. Well, in order for it to go back to the states, it has to be overturned in the Supreme Court. Because actually, same-sex marriage was argued on the same premise as Roe v. Wade, which is the right to privacy. As was interracial marriage and several other things, and the, the interracial marriage and the loving decision. Understand what's going on here. Uh, the Conservative Political Action Conference, which was attended by many people in the GOP, um, where they spoke, they shared a stage with Viktor Orban, who dismantled democracy in Turkey. Uh, he spent his time as the keynote speaker at CPAC, vilifying the liberals, uh, the, the mess that they have made of their society, um, the immigrants, uh, all, the, all the usual suspects, uh, the usual things that fascists talk about. And make no bones about this, folks. This is happening here at the same time, in real time. These people have been invited to our stage. Victor Orban, Orban came here and spoke about oppression on our stage, in our politics, to people in our government. He was embraced by these people. Let that sink the fuck in, okay? So now we have Georgia Maloney over there in Italy. And, uh, you know, she made the same fucking rally cry. Oh, whatever stands, stands. Whatever's here, stands. But the fact of the matter is, uh, this is what Georgia Maloney said just a little bit earlier this year. And she made this uh, statement to a, a, a speech, uh, in a speech to Spain's far-right Vox party. This is exactly what she said. These are quotes. Yes to the natural family. No to the LGBT lobby. Yes to sexual identity. No to gender ideology. No to Islamist violence. Yes to secure borders. No to mass migration. No to big international finance. No to the bureaucrats of Brussels. End quote. Now we hear that Georgia Maloney, who said that everything would just stand, is going after the LGBT community, going after gay marriage, going after all of it. The people who are fascists, my friends, uh, whether they're in this country or not in this country, never, never, ever tell the truth. They lie, okay? Um, they will tell you that everything's safe and secure if it's already been decided, and then they will fly in the face of all of that and do the exact opposite. Um, and I will, by the way, make sure that you have this uh, in this video so you can read it. Uh, 
This is Victor Malone. This is, I'm sorry, Victor Orban's speech. Victor Maloney, that would be a horrifying, uh, you know, marriage of oppression right there. Um, it's got his entire speech live in the transcript. You people should read this, folks, because these are the people that the right wing in this country is embracing. And you need to understand this. Now, I realize when I put this on TikTok, you can't see uh, these, uh, you know, articles to read. Uh, but I will put from now on uh, the link to the actual YouTube video in the YouTube, and I'm sorry, in the TikTok post so that you guys can go to that video should you choose to look at this backup material. Um, I also have an article I will put in that I'm not showing up here that shows that uh, Georgia Maloney agreed to uh, become part of Steve Bannon's coalition back in 2018. So understand this, folks, okay? These people are banding together because together they're stronger. They're stronger here, they're stronger in Italy, they're stronger in, in fucking Turkey. Wherever there is a right-wing block, which is short and code for fascist, you can be assured of one thing. Right now here, you know, Joe Biden just launched a plan to end hunger in America by 2030. Now that's an ambitious plan, but these are the things that real public servants do. They look at things to do on behalf of the American people. Okay, all of the American people, whether they're right wing, left wing, dead center, or apolitical. Ending hunger benefits everybody. There are indeed poor white Republicans in this country. OK, it may be an ambitious program. It will require the GOP to participate. And, you know, they are not going to do that because that is not what they do, because what fascist entities do is seek to oppress as soon as they take power. Viktor Orban did it. Georgia Maloney is now talking about doing it. And it has been a point of reality in America since Donald Trump left office. It didn't go away when he went away. He left a bunch of fascist goddamn idiots here. In our government, a bunch of seditionists, 147 of them. And by the way, of the 535 House seats that are up, 199 of those people are election deniers that are running. Understand this, folks. This is not a fucking drill. This is happening here in real time. The only way to defeat this is to get out and vote. Italy's voting statistics showed that voter turnout was low. That is how the right wing wins. That is how fascism wins. You need to understand what's going on here. This is not a joke, folks. This is the real deal. I will talk to you all later.